What's going on boys, no guys here, welcome back to another video and in today's video I've got three skill moves that you can use inside the box or outside the box when you're attacking to give you a bit of a speed boost. Now these are skill moves and also moves that you can do inside the game and there's a lot of features that people don't actually know that you can combine together that gives you a skill, speed boost or you can use a skill that gives you a boost in speed and these are very effective to beat the final man. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Now, the first one I want to go over is called the Skilled Bridge. Now, I know you know about the Skilled Bridge, or you might have heard of it. It's a new skill move in this game, but the most effective thing is understanding how it works. Now, this is basically how you do it. So you move forward, and you hold the L2 button, and you double tap the R1 button. Vice versa, if you're on Xbox, you hold the LT button and you double tap the RB button. Now, that's all fine and dandy. What people don't understand is you actually exit on one side. So, for example, here, you see how Ronaldo always does it with his left foot. It's the same for every single player. Now, what that means is, is that if your opponent is on the left-hand side, let's say, for example, here, your opponent's over here, you actually protect the ball by doing a skill move. Do you see that? So your body actually protects the ball. So this skill move is actually more effective from going from left to right as opposed to from right to left. So let's say you're cutting in from the right hand side. If I do it now, as you can see, this, the ball is basically exposed to my opponent. There's a big chance he can get it. But if I switch to the other side, but in contrast, if you cut in from the left hand side and then watch when I do the skill move now, if you watch Courtois, he's going to come towards my feet. And you see how the ball is protects here. Yeah, my player protects the ball, whereas on this side, the ball is exposed. As you can see, there's a chance you can get the ball. But if I go back on the left-hand side, as you can see, the body protects the ball. So what that means is you're either going to give away a penalty or you're going to go through every single time. So it's not just a speed boost that you get. So, of course, the bridge speed boost, let's say, for example, you're standing still. Don't forget, you can't do this when you're standing still. If you try to do it when you're standing still, you hold the L2 button and you double tap the R1 button, your player starts doing kick-ups. So the key thing is, for example, to combine this let's say with agile dribbling and then using it to give you that extra speed boost inside the box so use agile dribbling to bait your opponent let him stop and don't forget people are using manual jockeying this year they're not kind of catching up to you so if you can use it on let's say you're facing head on over here and you can use it to exit on the right hand side it's really good to create the 45 angle towards goal towards a near post angle also if you're going for those op finesse shots we now op these finesses are but it's also got the same combination as a finesse shot that can be very easily used to create the angle towards goal so if for example you're down the wing over here and you want to cut inside like so you can cut inside do the finesse shot and most of the time is very very effective of trying to get inside the box and create the angle towards goal that is the first skill move I just want to say don't forget I do have other tutorials on my channel so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what kind of video you want to see next and don't forget I got my Patreon series patreon.com forward slash nil guides FIFA school series if you want to get better at FIFA come join hundreds of others in the FIFA school series the mature audience community and don't forget it's a money back guarantee so you join my FIFA school and you don't get better after one month just message me and I'll refund your money patreon.com forward slash nil guides link is down below in the description but anyway back to the video now the next skill move is actually not really a skill but it's something that people always forgot about it's called a super knock on now i know when you're running normally um, you run and you flick the right analog stick once um, everyone knows that you kind of push the ball going forward but there's something called a super knock on that many people have actually forgot if you're running it behind let's say an l1 triangle you know how i'll make a video on that but how op the l1 triangle is check that video on my channel but if you're running and you double tap the right analog stick you can see you push the ball further ahead of you so watch for example like here i'm running with ronaldo i double tap it you say you push the ball really far forward now don't forget only players who have, don't forget, players without the ball always run faster. Most defenders are going to be using the running jockey. So if you could smack the ball, so let's say someone's defending, someone's defending in front of you, you smack the ball past him, you will get that speed boost as well. And don't forget, even if the defender is faster and you've got a better angle towards goal, because you'll be running jockeying most of the time as opposed to running, you'll be able to get that speed boost and better velocity in comparison. That's how you can increase the speed of your player. So there's loads of space in front of you. You double tap the right analog stick and you can knock it on. The best advice is I would say run and double tap it now. You can actually hold it for longer. So if you're running and you double tap it and you hold the right analog stick, it goes a bit further. You see that? So I'm going to show you again. I hold it this time. See how the ball goes further away? Whereas if I just do a quick tap, you see it doesn't go as far. You see that? But... You can combine like with a, with a massive one and doing a massive one again. So you can just spam it and you can keep doing these super long passes. So let's say, for example, you get the ball early on, you can quickly and easily get into space. 
Now, don't forget, anyone can do this. Um, the best thing is to get someone that's got a good sprint speed and it's really good if you want to create an angle towards goal and to create a power shot. And don't forget, when you're finishing, you want to hit the ball with a bit more power than normal. And that is how you can get the basically the guaranteed goals. In this FIFA, even if you're doing the finesse shot, always just do a bit more power. So whenever you're in a 1v1 situation, remember about my, my, my voice at the back of your head saying, just do a bit more power. Because if you hit it too close towards the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper will always catch it. But that's why these speed boosts also give you that kind of that power boost for you to run up to the ball. So when you try to do it, for example, like over here, if I try to do that, you do get that power boost of your player trying to run up to the ball. So that is another very effective speed boost skill move. Now, the last one is called the explosive sprint. Now, people got confused. And to be honest, most people did. How does explosive sprint work? Does it work when it's random? Well, this is the thing. This year, the game rewards your timing and also you being progressive with the run button. So the less you hold the run button, the better chance you have of using explosive sprint. So how does it work? Now, if you're jogging, and let's say, for example, you're running in a straight line. So the best way I can explain it is if I go to the halfway line, and don't forget, I'm doing this in the arena. So if you're playing in a match, don't forget you'll be shooting from, let's say you shoot from left to right. Let's shoot from left to right. If the opponent's goal is over there, if you're running, you'll be holding, let's say that's your player there, you'll be holding your left analog stick to the right-hand side. Because Ronaldo is facing forward here, I'll be facing my left analog stick going forward, as you can see. So the way you do this is, is that when you have possession of the ball, you basically hold the run button before the ball even comes towards you or when the ball is at your feet. And some of you guys are doing it by mistake and you're not realizing because you're holding the run button. The most important thing is timing. Now, you have to either be moving in a forward direction or in a straight direction. You can't, for example, curve your run like this. You have to be running in a straight line. That is how you get the effective solution. And the most important thing is you want to be facing fully forward. The best way I explain to you is when the ball gets to your feet or when the ball is slightly moving, you just hold left hand lost and you run. So your player goes into that explosive sprint mode and that is what you call explosive sprint. Now, don't forget the normal acceleration rates, they apply the same in every situation, but explosive sprint only happens for a short period of time and then it tapers off. So for example, like over here, you can see like here, I get the ball, watch my play animation. As you can see, I keep the ball going forward and then I run at a much faster speed. So let's say the best way to do it in game and a realistic example is be jogging and then use the run button. You see how your kind of head goes down, let's say you're running normally, you see it's kind of like normal movement, but the best way to look at this is when you're moving and then you run, so your head kind of goes down, you push the ball forward and you go a bit faster than normal, that's the way to activate the explosive sprint. So my best advice is dribble around normally, even use the agile dribbling button and then use the explosive sprint button to exit. You see how quickly it exits there, watch that, watch that, like this, run normally, then I use the sprint button to exit. So that's the best thing to do. So use the agile dribbling if you're coming towards someone inside the box and then use the explosive sprint. But don't forget, the ball, the ball and the play has to be facing one direction. So you wanna be moving forward or in one direction like so. Then use explosive sprint, you just push the ball forward and then use explosive sprint. So here's an example from EA. What I've done is I slowed this video by 0.5. And as you can see, without explosive sprint, both of the players are, are going kind of the same spin. As you can see, there's no explosive sprint. The player just makes the run animation normally. And as you can see, they're both equal distance. In fact, the player without the ball is running faster. But this time, with explosive sprint on, you see the player is jogging. He's running in the straight line, holds the R1 button. And you see how he gets that sprint boost and he pulls away from the defender. That's exactly what you want to achieve. So don't forget, the most important thing is the way you do it is you actually jog first. Then you run in a straight line, so make sure you're running in a straight line as you can see over there. You hold the run button, so an RT, or R2 in this case. And as you can see, you sprint so far ahead forward, and then you start tapering off and your opponent can then catch up to you. But you still get that momentum boost. As you can see positionally, you can see that this player is now in theory behind him, whereas without explosive, well, without explosive sprint, you can see that the opponent was in front. The reason why the opponent is in front is because don't forget he doesn't have the ball at his feet, therefore he can run faster. Whereas for example, in this situation, as you can see, the velocity is much higher when you're running. And the reason why is because they have the explosive sprint feature that gives that extra boost. That way you can pull away from your opponents much faster. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out other tutorials on my channel if you want to get better at FIFA. And don't forget to subscribe. But don't forget to do stream on twitch.tv forward slash nil, guys. Link is also down below in the description. Thanks for watching, boys. Take it easy. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.